And now here we are at my revamping of the Dark Universe, for the fourth and final phase of this universe. So where we left off in the previous video is that we're open. This is the opening salvo of Dracula's War on Mankind, and Van Helsing, who had his back up against the wall, now has a few allies. Dracula's daughter. He also has another ally in the Werewolf of London. So he has uh, to fight monsters. He has. Uh, the thing is, is like he understands that in order to fight monsters, he has to ally with monsters. Even, uh, even though he's like, I don't know how I feel about this, but eventually he does understand that not every. It's more about fighting, defeating Dracula than it is stopping monsters. So here we are in what would be a seven-part finale to this version of the dark of the dark universe. So let's get started with the first one. Ghost of Frankenstein. Ghost of Frankenstein would take elements of that movie as well as the son of Frankenstein. In this movie, we follow the the son of Frankenstein, who did survive his attack from Doc, from Mister Hyde and the Invisible Man. He is now working on a way to stop Dracula in his own way. However, dur during such time, he finds himself. Um, Discuss, like trying to find a way to make a more enhanced monster. He uh, he does know that the monster is still out. His fa his father's monster is still out there and working for Dracula. He has used the notes to build a new, more powerful monster in order to combat it. However, the original monster seeking this this Frankenstein is hell-bent on stopping him from propagating and making more monsters and finally put an end to the Frankenstein house. Now, the thing of it is, is that um, the monster, this is more about the monster, but also has Van Helsing and his team also looking for the, this Frankenstein in order to either convince him to join him or if they want to um if they if he's a threat then he as much as he is with drag as dracula is then you know they'll stop him as well so that's the plan so now it's a two-way war between the monster um and uh frankenstein this frankenstein is fighting a war against the mon the his father's monster and van helsing um and he intends on on creating a new more powerful monster like this big hulking monster um that frankenstein that the original monster has to battle and defeat but by the end of it frankenstein's note if the this frankenstein the son of frankenstein gets away and now however he does join with dracula like he does see like the error of his ways and is like so better to be at the devil's side than in his path and you my account are quite the devil so he's and Dracula's like, yeah, you're gonna make monsters for me now. Um, you're gonna make my army. So now, uh, so now we're getting into the army. So now we get to the next film in this franchise, The Invisible Woman. So this film, uh, so this film would uh, would star the uh, Jack Griffin's wife, or rather his ex-wife, who he does want to see again, and he desperately wants to be with. But the problem is, is that she says, "Is like you're fucking crazy. You have lost your mind, and you work with devils. You, uh, you know, you've allied yourself with monsters. You've allied yourself with, you know, beings of a, uh, like, and you want to bring the world into like absolute shadow and darkness." And he's like, "You don't understand. Dracula's going to create a new world, like a new. Ad uh, it'll be a world like Adam and Eve." Um, you know, we can be that Adam and Eve. We can live in a new garden of paradise, a new Eden for things like us. And he's go he's so nuts that like he kidnaps her and actually turns her invisible um, to further like his point. Like, don't you see? We belong together. We, you know, for, uh, you know, only we can see each other. Like, and if we can't see each other, then no one will. So, yeah, Flora jack griffin's ex-wife is just like you have you know you are not the man i fell in love with the two of them do battle and she escapes this would lead to the invisible woman you know trying to uh combat uh, you know escape from the invisible man 
um, as well as the other monsters. You know, uh, Jack Griffin and the other monsters are searching for her until eventually, at the end of the film, she Flora joins forces with the um, you know Van Helsing's team. Um, next up is the creature walk. The next film in this phase is the creature walks among us. The creature walks among us in the, uh, this movie would center of course around this would be another creature movie and in this film the creature is still in america um of course in the in the previous video i said like the creature has been sent to you know to keep america out of dracula's plans but now the creature has moved further south and has moved to like the swamplands of uh the everglades kind of a reference to revenge of the creature where he was brought to florida so in here the creature walks among us. Um, the creature is. This would be more of a like. This is a straight up like almost like story like predator, where the creature now has evolved. Like the creature has been so much under duress and whatnot that it's actually evolving at a rapid pace, and the creature now um, can now breathe on land more. It's actually becoming stronger. It's physically becoming more powerful. So now the creature is reaching a new level of evolution, and um, in this film, you know Van Helsing's team is isn't here a lot. They're trying; they actually do try to fight the creature until eventually they see that how powerful he's become. I'd even love to have a fight with Dracula's daughter and and the werewolf of London, uh, Zofia and uh, Glendon, having a two-on-one fight with this new, more powerful creature. So following that is the Mummy's Tomb. In this one, um, the mummy Karis has um, now been summoned by Dracula in order to complete a new mission. And basically what he reveals is that the mummy's tomb is, got raided during his uh, hunt for the Book of Life. So now Karis, as well as like the Phantom and a few other monsters, are sent to London in order to um, recover the artifacts within it. And by the end, uh, you know, of course, they run into Van Helsing, uh, a fight ensues, and from there, we come to our... Uh, the, mon uh, the monsters get away, and by the end of it, we reach our next film, which is Van Helsing. So, this movie, we're reaching, like, the... the this is basically, like, act one of our endgame. So, for this... Uh, for, so, the, for the first part, we are focusing on Van Helsing. You know, we're focusing on Van Helsing and his team of hero monster of heroic monsters. In this one, Van Helsing is like, dude, enough. I am taking the fight to... Uh, we are taking the fight to Van Helsing and battling him on his own. I mean, we're taking the fight to Dracula and we're going to, bat we're going to do battle with him um, on his own turf. So that's what it is, is that Van Helsing... Rather than go on the defensive and, you know, react to Dracula's war... They're going on the counteroffensive, and that's what it is. It's like they're destroying labs. They're they're fighting other monsters that Dracula has created. They're basically going on a war path in order to rattle Dracula's cages before they figure before he can unlock unlock his master plan. And Dracula's plan is to unleash an army of monsters created by Victor by Frankenstein's son, as well as. They also have been brought and mystically empowered by the Book of the Life, sent, uh, Book of Life sent by, uh, brought together by the Mummy. Ugh, can't talk today. So, yeah, not good. <laughs> but by the end of it, we we cut to our next film in this uh, in Act Two of this End Game, House of Frankenstein. So, House of Frankenstein is Van Helsing's war has been has been going on for a bit. And now they're getting, you know, now they've reached Dracula and are preparing to do battle with him. But first they have to compete against Frankenstein. Like he, they've they've determined that, you know, the Frankenstein, uh, you know, the Frankenstein family has brought nothing but pain. So they have to stop. Um, Frankenstein is the first before they can take out Dracula directly. They need to stop his army in order to, con before they can move on to do battle with Dracula. So, from there, um, Van Helsing and his team do do battle with um, Frankenstein and do battle... Uh, like, this would be kind of like a like an 1800s Resident Evil kind of story. Like, it would be um, the team battling their way through 
Frank, the castle Frankenstein and encountering all these horrors of his. Until eventually they discover, oh shit, we're too late. And they do defeat Frankenstein, but Dracula has un unleashed the army and has unleashed a spell to bring all of these... To basically be a signal to every monster on the planet that's been hiding in the shadows for so long to come out of hiding and just go nuts. So... That leads to our final film of this series, House of Dracula. So House of Dracula is the, thir is the third of this three-act story. And in here, um, Van Helsing and his team are back against the wall. It's actually been six months, and mankind is, like, already in the span of six months, have already been beaten against the back, uh, you know, they have their backs against the wall. Because, yeah, Dracula and, his, uh, and the legions of monsters have just been ransacking the planet like they've been wiping out humanity by now it would probably be like world like where world war one would be and they're using world war one as gear to battle these monsters and in, but instead of germans they're fighting like armies of vampires werewolves goblins dragons all of these things and mankind is losing the war this does lead to the final act of it being van abraham van helsing and his team going directly for Dracula in an, to end the war. And that's what would happen. In this final clash between the two of them, um, monster, the monsters you knew are get, are get killed left and right throughout. Until eventually, a, a Dracula and he, you know Dracula and Van Helsing are, the, are left standing in a final battle where Dracula is slain and then Helsing and what's left of his team, which I would imagine, like, the remnants of his team would probably be someone like, I, like, uh, the, Sophia, and Dracula's daughter, and, uh, the where, and I would say, that would probably be it, like, the other, like, the other two would probably die as well. I'd also say that the Frankenstein monster would also help, because now you'd finally see that, oh god, everything's so fucked, and he would utter, as he's dying, or helping Dracula get killed, he's like, we belong dead and helps Van Helsing kill him. So there you go guys that is uh, the end of my version of the Dark Universe. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for uh, enjoying these videos and you guys tell me in the comments below what did you guys think of all this? Just comment below let me know. Other than that hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.